officer involved shooting in Ingleside that left a 35 year old man dead. Iran's has passed police department identifying the man as Joseph Torres, who was wanted for aggravated kidnapping. The incident occurred behind Buckhorn Saloon in Ingleside just after one this morning after Torres was pursued by Aransas Pass Police. Police Chief Eric Blanchard spoke with 3 News about the moment an officer confronted Torres behind the bar after the car chase when Torres shot at the officer and he returned fire. We'll hear from Chief Blanchard and a bartender who was working at the time of the shooting in our top story tonight. When the officer ends up shooting him several times, the offender falls to the ground, but then the people who know the offender start interfering with the officer while the offender's on the ground scrambling trying to find his firearm. Well, he ends up finding the firearm again, and the officer ends up throwing the or pushing back the gentleman that was interfering with him physically, and then this starts to struggle with Mr. Torres. Other officers in EMS worked to save Torres' life after he was shot, but he later died from his injuries at the hospital. A Buckhorn Saloon bartender also spoke with 3 News and said everything happened outside the bar, but patrons were still shaken up by the nearby gunshots, some rushing for the exit. The bartender says a man who interfered with the officer's pursuit of Torres will most likely be banned from the saloon. We don't condone with anybody interfering in police investigations or police matters of any sort unless it is to help them and to find out that somebody hindered them. Well, it, it comes to very, very stupid. I, I can't even explain how stupid somebody would have to be to try to stop a police officer from doing their job. Chief Blanchard says no charges have been filed against that man who interfered, but did not rule out the possibility of criminal charges at a later date. His identity has not been made public, but they do say he knew Taurus. Chief Blanchard says the Aransas Pass Police Department will conduct an internal investigation of the officer involved in the shooting, a standard procedure. The criminal investigation will be handled by the Texas Rangers and the Ingleside Police Department.